हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज दीप्ति श्रीवास्तव क्लास टेंथ लेसन वन प्रोडक्टिव मैकेनिज्म अकॉर्डिंग टू अपडेटेड सिलेबस 2020-21 मीनिंग ऑफ प्रोडक्शन प्रोडक्शन रेफर्स टू एनी एक्टिविटी दैट रिजल्ट्स इन क्रिएशन ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज इंटेंडेड फॉर एक्सचेंज इन फैक्ट प्रोडक्शन डिनोट्स टू थिंग्स क्रिएशन ऑफ यूटिलिटी एंड क्रिएशन ऑफ वैल्यू यूटिलिटी एंड वैल्यू कैन बी क्रिएटेड बाय changing the form by changing the place by changing the time and by rendering services factors of production production is an important branch in the study of economics production of a commodity of service requires so many things simultaneously which are called as factor of production these factors of production can broadly be categorized into four parts with land labor capital and enterprise these are also known as factor inputs beside factor input the production process also requires non factor inputs they consist of all goods and services like raw materials semi finished goods and other inventories with the producers differences between factors of production and agents of production factors of production may be differentiated from the agents of production agents of production in fact are the owners of factors of production factors of production land labor capital enterprise agents of production landlord laborer capitalist entrepreneur factors of production land all free gifts of nature soil water forests mountains minerals etc labor essentials of labor human work physical or mental work work done for income or reward capital all man made means of production like machines tools buildings roads raw materials etc entrepreneur or enterprise functions risk bearer organizer of other factors land labor and capital of production controller of business land meaning of land land is a basic factor of production it not only employs the soil that is earth surface but refers to the whole of resources which nature has given to men free of cost whose supply can be regulated characteristics of land land is a free gift of nature land is limited in supply land is permanent it is not perishable land differs in fertility land can be put to many uses land is passive passive factor of production in the sense that it cannot itself produce anything it requires the services of labor and capital it has value in exchange or price factor influencing productivity of land productivity of land is influenced by several factors such as fertility of the soil climate irrigation facilities location of land ownership of land use of land use of capital government policy etc labor meaning of labor labor means all human efforts of body or of mind which are undertaken in the expectation of reward popularly known as wages characteristics of labor labor always involves pain or sacrifice which may be physical or mental labor is perishable labor cannot be separated from the laborer due to their weak bargaining power laborers are forced to accept low wages however this is not the case with the workers organized into strong unions all workers are not equally efficient skilled workers are more efficient than the unskilled ones efficiency of labor can be increased efficiency of labor efficiency of labor implies the productive capacity of a worker it is influenced by several factors like climate education and training working condition level of wages the type of machines and tools used employer employee relations etc reasons for low efficiency of indian laborers hot climate in india Indian workers are paid low wages hence they do not take much interest in the work Indian laborers have to work under uncongenial environment 
machines tools used by laborers are outdated and of poor quality most of the indian workers are unskilled and illiterate they lack proper education and training meaning and types of division of labor division of labor refers to splitting of the work of labor involved in the production of a commodity into several parts and each part or sub part is performed by a specialist it may be of three kinds product based division of labor process based division of labor horizontal and vertical division of labor international division of labor geographical division of labor product based division of labor is known as simple division of labor under it everybody performs a occupation the entire work is done by the same person the activities of blacksmith carpenters tailors are some examples of product based division of labor the division of labor is described as process based when a person or group of person undertakes a specialized function which is supplementary to the production of final commodity service this is also known as complex division of labor for example in the manufacture of car manufacture of different components processing of raw material cutting welding electrocasting dispatching of cars the specialized services of workers are used in different processes the production of a commodity in a region is also known as geographical division of labor advantages of division of labor it increases the level of production since the production is produced by an expert worker best quality of products is produced it saves time and tools it promotes inventions in the methods and techniques of production it leads to reduction in cost of production all workers get work according to their abilities and choices capital meaning of capital capital refers to all man made durable goods which are used in the production of other goods and services it adds value in the process of production formation would become possible only when present consumption is sacrificed unlike land the supply of capital is elastic characteristics of capital capital is the result of accumulation capital depreciates over time of all the factors of production capital is most mobile capital is a passive factor of production the supply of capital can be increased or decreased types of capital fixed capital a durable form of capital for example machines circulating capital which is used once only once for example raw material sunk capital which is used only for a single purpose for example building of a factory floating capital which can be put to several uses of coal production capital capital which helps in production directly consumption capital for factory workers 29 machines tools etc capital which helps in the production indirectly that is residential building personal capital it refers to the personal abilities which cannot be transferred for example surgeon's skill material capital capital which is made of raw material matter and has a form and shape of machines money capital capital used for purchasing real capital debt capital capital used for giving loans social capital capital which help in the growth of national output of the country for example railways national highways etc private capital capital which helps only to the owner to raise his income for example private property business goodwill etc meaning of capital formation capital formation means increase in the fiscal capital stock goods in an accounting year factors influencing capital formation capital formation means increase in the fiscal capital 
the accumulation of capital directly depends upon the volume of saving savings in turn depend upon the power to save will to save and facilities of savings that is the development of bank banking facilities mobilization of savings investment of savings entrepreneur meaning of entrepreneur or organization organization means directing deciding and designing the forms of business one who plans organizes and manages a business is an organizer entrepreneur is a person who not only manages the business but also bears the risk involved therein functions of entrepreneur risk bearing is the most important function of an entrepreneur entrepreneur plans out the business he raises financial resources and buys necessary factor inputs he distributes rewards among different factors of production he explores market for sale of his product role of entrepreneur in economic development modern economic development is the result of dynamic intelligent and enterprising entrepreneurs entrepreneur is the man who takes initiative and comes forward to take risk he takes decision regarding what to produce how much to produce and how efficient output is produced he makes all arrangements for different factors of production and organizes them efficiently hence the country would be able to produce a large amount of output and generate a large income which possesses a large classes of able and dynamic entrepreneurs thank you